Hey everybody, in this video which I recorded live on Twitch, I'm looking at Clapham versus Bologna in the final of EUCF 2018. In these two clips, there's a call and then the video screen is consulted, right, where the replays are being shown, this massive screen in the stadium. So the players look up and see the video screen and then their opinion about the call changes because of what they've seen on it. There's quite a lot of chat about spirit in the community at the moment and I think this video brings up some interesting points. The footage in this video is from Fancy. I recommend you go there and check out all the other games they have to offer. Still, Clapham have possession and a block from Arturo Lafi, which has been contested by Phil Garner. That's quite a large section of the crowd. I would suggest a Bologna contingent. They're not happy with that. Lafi doing the 360 around here. And seeing the replay on the screen, I can understand why the crowd are dissatisfied with this call from Garner. And he's going to give it up, good spirit. Yeah, I think uh, having the replay shown in the stadium is useful for everybody us the audience and the players included needing to get back into this game with some defense but they've got to do the hard work first Oli Gordon burning past Loritz but Loritz does some good positional play and a foul is called and Oli Gordon to them again very calm about this it's impressive the the run down they might have a chance to have a look at the big screen. Gordon looked like he was making up ground, but he had to, couldn't go around. He had to come over that right shoulder of Loritz a little bit there. Yeah, it was a good positional play from Loritz. Oli Gordon doesn't matter about the pace. Loritz had got position. I think deciding then he did, a, he did a pretty good, or at least a good enough job of avoiding contact with that. Got it relatively cleanly and so really nice spirit there in such a tight moment to say okay we've looked at the replay and you actually saw them turn to look at the titantron which is really good that players are now learning to use these facilities that are available to them and then retract the call and give away a crucial turnover the first turnover we've seen since it was 9-7 okay so um this first one yeah, we've got Phil going over to Diaz, and you've got the uh, the defender Still, dancing all the way around. Okay, and it's one of those kind of classic situ situations where, like, yeah, the force is moving, it's also moving, but you can't just you can't just throw into where they are, right? And a block. I don't know if everyone else has been in the same kind of um, discussion as I have, where it's like. The force is just the, the the thrower is like well yeah you were moving you have to be completely still like, that's not that's not really true is it that's not really the case is it in this situation it's clear that he throws into where the defender is you know like even if the defender's moving you can't just you can't just throw like that and expect it and so he calls a foul all right because he you know he feels feels the contact and stuff and then these two replays. Yeah, from this point, a large section of the crowd. I would suggest that this is actually this is actually what's being shown on the big screen. Blondie so as this replay is being shown, Laffy doing the few of the players are looking at it, it and they're like, "Hey guys, like, have yeah. a look at the have a look at the replay." And, the and they hear the crowd react. The replay on the screen, I can and then understand Mike why on the, um, the crowd are dissatisfied with this controls. He replays Ghana. the replay immediately, and he's going to give it up. Good spirit. Yeah, I think and then uh, they see that. Having the replay. Um, well, they probably saw that just before uh, on, the, on the first replay, actually. So yeah, saw yeah, the replay. I'm uh, sorry, fair enough. The replay shown um, in the stadium. But obviously, you don't have you don't have the big screen in uh, in all of the uh, <laughs> the, the crowd. Yeah, and then cheering, and then clap. <laughs> you got him doing the. Uh, he does the the VAR kind of sign, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you don't have the big screen in, in all the in all the venues and everything, you know. For hardly any games, you have a big screen. But it's um, it just shows good example from uh, from the top teams to you know be willing to to be willing to um, concede that they are wrong. and we call. Needing to get back into this game with some defense, but they've got to do this the hard work first. Ollie Gordon burning past Loritz, but Loritz does. Because, like, whether or not this is a foul itself is is debatable. You know, like they're pretty much shoulder to shoulder. Okay, look at look at how their legs are totally matching. Reminds me of an old ulti village clip with Roger Crafts in it. But yeah, 
and then he goes for the hand over the top all right min minimal contact okay he does amazingly well but there is some contact and you know he feels the legs i think clip and then there's also i believe there's also contact on the hand all right so if i just fast forward through this yeah so again they um you can see just at this point they turn and look up at the screen expecting the replay yeah <laughs> i think the players must have told them and then that's when mike then puts the replay up and you can see here yeah see it looks like so he flaps his hand a couple of times and it looks like he might actually hit the bologna player's hand on one of those flaps and that's why when the bologna player's hand goes up for the disc it's actually underneath it right so if it is that if he does come through and hit the guy's hand then yeah that is a foul um the bologna player calls foul and then sees the replay and then he retracts his call now it was interesting with bologna this whole tournament because their spirit seemed to be exemplary um which is huge because you know that they've been criticized for bad spirit in the past and i wonder whether they had a a rule that they weren't allowed to um, have calls remaining as contested so either they had to retract a call or they had to concede a foul. Yeah, like they wouldn't, basically in the situation they were in, wasn't allowed to go back contested. And this is speculation. I know that Clapham did that um, when they won Europeans way back in like 2002 or three, and then maybe earlier than that. And then um, they came, they came like bottom of spirit or near bottom of spirit and they won the tournament. And then the next Europeans, then they, uh, won the tournament and they won spirit as well and they did that by instigating a rule at trainings that calls weren't allowed to be contested so then that taught them then how to how to discuss things um in a better way because you know they had to come to a resolution you know there wasn't any kind of like agree to disagree type thing um they had to actually resolve it you know it had to either be a foul or not a foul it couldn't be a contested foul um, hard work first Ollie Gordon burning past Loritz but Loritz does and yeah that process meant that they uh, yeah their spirit became much much better and you know huge props for winning the tournament and winning spirit some good um, positional so I'm interested in people's thoughts about this about the use of screens um, because it's possible that any any filmed game there's a possibility that the video could be used immediately right without delaying the without delaying the the call significantly you know there could be like a portable screen or something which players can immediately refer to and see the replays um is that something that people think would be good do you think it would benefit spirit not just in those games but also um in other games in the tournament and in the future um personally i think uh the display of spirit in the final um ecf was uh, inspirational you know and and will inspire teams to have very good spirit and to be honest and to you know really think about okay what actually happened and then to be prepared to to concede that they're wrong you know and, and i think bologna this last year have done amazingly well to to um to lead the way uh, in that and and to put on a put on an incredible show of, of skill and of spirit combined with it but yeah I'm interested in hear, to hear people's thoughts about whether they think that should have been um, retracted um, and whether they think video uh, replays are a, are a positive thing for spirit yeah cool alright I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you again soon Bye.